research. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics says prices for meat, poultry, fish, and eggs increased more than 14% over the past year. We know a lot of you at home are going, yeah, it did. Yes, and it's forcing a lot of families to make those tough choices in what they buy at the grocery store. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon is live this morning. And Daniela, you talked to someone at St. Luke's who says they're really concerned about this could lead to people skipping meals, correct? Yes, that's right. Good morning, Lindsay and Taylor. I spoke to Grace Hoffman. She's a nutritional expert within St. Luke's Fame program. It's an educational program that teaches people like you and me how to eat healthy. She thinks affordability will come into play and this will lead to people skipping meals to try to uh, stretch out the meals that they prepared for the week. And here's why just not being able to have another because they've, they've eaten the food that they had in their home and just are unable to continue you know, eating throughout the day. So it's really unfortunate that that could be happening. And I also talked to Lori Wellner. She's part of St. Luke's Fame program. It's a 10 week educational course that teaches how to cook healthy meals again. Now she signed up for the program because she wanted to maintain a healthy lifestyle and also look at ways to reduce food costs. It's usually the most expensive thing on our list, right? And so, um, we started pretty early on in just finding ways to extend those meat dollars. So it was a pretty easy transition. And the USDA says eating out is also on the rise August of last year compared to August of this year. Eating out has cost you an average of 8% and that's how much of an increase people have seen all across the board. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, Danielle Leone, KSHB 41 News. I mean, there's multiple times you get a bit of sticker shock for something you're used to buying and you're like, wait, what? Exactly. How much is it? Yeah. Let's talk about breakfast options. People waking up this morning on this Monday. Protein is what we've been talking Protein. about with eggs and cheese and meat and rice prices. What's something they can make that's good, maybe save some money? Yeah, these are recipes that are included within their fame program. I was told a quick, easy option for you guys at home waking up is to make a smoothie, right? So all you have to do is put in a bunch of berries, strawberries to get that protein, put some peanut butter if you're looking at ways to kind of just have that nutritional meal and you just liquefy, there you go, nice and blended as well. And then it should look something like this. By the way, I did do some grocery shopping and I found out that frozen berries are a yeah. lot cheaper than uh, berries that you just go and grab oh, at your yeah. yeah at your grocery shelves, Lindsay. And these are going to last me a lot longer. So you guys at home are just going to have to do a lot of digging and spend extra time at the grocery store to make sure you get more bang for your buck. Exactly. You guys know I have my berry smoothie in the morning. <laughs> she and does. Frozen Every berries, morning. they last longer. They don't go bad. And yeah. it makes the whole thing cold, too. It's a double bonus, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's a good Perfect idea. Danielle, thank you.